Hey yo, what's good? It's the one and only Young Seiko. If you're new to my channel, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Y'all already know what the fuck going on. I told y'all all my story times finna be lit, and they all about to be in chronological order. So this story time is literally like a few months after KK got that train ran on her and exposed on Instagram. And this is when I was in my dog stage. I hope y'all niggas can relate to this shit, and I hope y'all niggas grab you something to eat and something to drink to watch this shit. Cause this shit is about to be funny as fuck. Gang, enjoy. Gang, enjoy, enjoy. Man, y'all already know what the fuck going on. It's the one and only Young Seeker coming at y'all with a fucking story sign today. Now, as you can tell from the title, I told y'all niggas, this is the first time I got me some sloppy toppy. Mind you, this shit is like a month or two after KK got that motherfucking sex tape exposed her ass on Instagram and shit. And so I, I was I was in my in my in my dog stage, bruh. So you know I'm gonna act nonchalant, you know, talking to hella bitches and shit. You know, I'm just doing me. So nigga, let me tell you what the fuck happened, alright? So it's this one girl in my neighborhood, and she a year older than me. I'm gonna name her as Alexis, my nigga. So Alexis, she was always like, she always try to play hard to get and shit. And I don't know that I like that shit because, you know, it's a little, you know, you gotta have a little bit more game. You gotta be a little bit more advanced to get them hoes. You know what I'm saying? So I'll always be getting on her skin, you know, fucking around with her and shit. And like I knew she had a soft spot for him because, like, when I talk to her, she would always be smiling and shit. Like she'll be more open to fuck with me and shit. So. At the same time, I'm, like, I've been playing football for 10 years, so I've been playing sports all my life. I was a running back, a linebacker, a slot receiver, all that shit. So I was on the seven-on-seven -seven team on my team, and we had to go to this little tournament or this camp or whatever. So I'm going to show y'all niggas a picture, like, right here. Nigga, we was uh, playing football and shit, and I was on my way to the camp. And so, I was, you know, when you're, on, when you're traveling, what you, you on social media, so you on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram and shit. So she posted this picture on Snapchat saying, Screenshot this for to be honest and a rate. So what the fuck my goofy ass do? Nigga, I screenshotted it. So I screenshot that shit and like five minutes later I get a notification from her. Doot doot. Boom. She all in my phone and shit. So the rate the rate was like a, a eight or a nine or some shit. And then the to be honest was uh to be honest, you're really cute and uh some other shit. I, I can't remember the other shit, but I know she said I was cute and shit. So I got that shit and then I hit her up. I texted her and I was like, yo, what's good? And, you know, I'm checking up on this show. She was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm on my way to this football camp and shit. And, uh, yeah, she was like, good luck at your football camp. And then she was like, what you plan on doing after that? You going to be busy? I was like, nah, why? What's up? And then she was like, she was like, well, my mom's out of town. And tomorrow I'm going with my dad for the summer. So she was like, nobody's going to be home. If you want to, you can come over. I was like, if I want to, I was like, shit, I, 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 I'm going to pull up. So I was like, all right, bet. I'm going to let you know when I get home. She'll be home in like a few, like in like three hours or some shit. So nigga, at this, now now I'm feeling good, bro, because I'm thinking of all types of scenarios. I'm like, bro, she, we about, I'm about to lose my virginity. She about to suck my dick. I'm about to, I'm about to kill this shit. You know what I'm saying? So nigga, I'm feeling livid. Any other time, if I didn't get in at a game, in a game or a camp, I'll be mad as hell. I wouldn't be mad, but like I'll be tight, cause like nigga, you ain't play. But nigga, when she sent me that shit, my whole day was just like everything was just better, bro. The the music was sounding better. The air was more fresher, my nigga. Like every it seemed like everything was going my way. Like I, I just felt blessed and highly favored. You know what I'm saying? So. I ain't getting, I, I literally got in like two plays. I I'm, I'm going to keep it a bean with you. I got in like two plays. But nigga, I ain't care because, you know, I had gear. And we made it far enough into the tournament to where we had to travel to another tournament. And this is where they gave us like free cleats and shit. So, I, bro, I ain't give a fuck. I was getting free cleats, uh, headbands, all that. I was getting free gear. So, I ain't give a fuck, bro. So, we on the way back to the school because, you know, they took us to school and then our ride picks us up. So we back going back to school and nigga, I'm just like, I got my beats on, so I'm just sitting in my in my seat and I'm chilling like nigga, I'm I'm gassing myself up, I'm hyping myself up like nigga, I'm getting hyped like this is a football game or some shit. So I'm over here, you know, mentally preparing myself for what's about to happen, nigga. So we get to the school and I always ride with my friend Andre because this nigga live right down the street from me. So when I ride with him, usually I'm always talking to him and his mom. You know, his mom's asking us, how's the camp? You know. What's it looking like? What kind of plays were we, was we running? Was any teams hard? Shit like that. And usually, I, you know, I'll be talking to her and like, you know, but this time, bro, I was not talking. Nigga, I told you, I'm in a, I'm in a whole different mentality, a whole different mind state right now. So I'm over here thinking about what, what, what's about to go on when I get to the girl's crib. 
Mind you, it's like, nigga, I'm z so zoned out. I don't even hear nobody talking to me. So all I hear, because they call me Tig, so all I hear is Tig, 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 Tig. And I'm not finally get back in, like, you know, I finally get back in that state. And I'm like, I'm like, huh, huh, what's good? So she was like, you don't hear me talking to you? I was like, I was like no, man, I'm sorry. Like, I, you know, I, I was, you know, just zoned out. So Andre, he laughing. I, Because I think he was sitting next to me when I was texting. It, so I think he already knew what the fuck was about to go down. Or, like, he already knew I was, he already knew I was in my bag. So he laughing. She was like, "What's so funny, y'all?" No, I was, I was like, "Nothing." I was like, "Nothing." I'm just, I'm just feeling good, you know. I got, I got a good amount of reps in at the camp, and I'm just feeling good, nigga. I was lying my ass off. So, nigga, they drop me off. I get to the crib, nigga. I run up them stairs and I, you know, get the keys, and I open it and I put that bitch in the key door, and I, you know, I lock my door and I get up there. My room is downstairs, so in the kitchen upstairs. So I go straight to the kitchen, my nigga, because you know I gotta, I gotta get my little, I gotta get my motherfucking, my my man. I gotta marinate myself. And when I say marinate, nigga, I gotta drink me a smoothie. And I gotta drink me some pineapple juice, cause nigga, I had to get the pineapples and shit. Because you know I had to, I had to make sure my nut tastes good. I ain't want my dick to, I ain't want my nut to taste like assy. You know what I'm saying? So I made me, I had drunk me some pineapple juice, and then I had made a smoothie with some pineapples, ice, cinnamon, and ginger in that shit. Blend that bitch up. <laughs> now drunk that bitch. Go, go, go. You know what I'm saying? So I drunk that bitch, and then I went and took my uh, shower. Doom, I'm playing some music while I'm in the shower. I'm playing Break From Toronto by Party Next Door, my nigga. And that's, I'm singing my ass off at this point, bruh. Every, like I told y'all, everything is going my way. The music sounds better. Nigga, I could drink some water. It know it tastes like some fucking Kool-Aid. Like, that's how I was feeling, bro. So, mind you, it's a, I'm going to tell y'all niggas, to balance, you don't want to have no swamp dick when you about to go fuck with a bitch. So, I had to hit my dick with some apple cider vinegar, and then I had to, you know, rinse that shit off, and then hit with some Dove Extra Love, and then I had to rinse that shit off, and then I had to wash it with some motherfucking uh, Dove Shea Butter uh, body wash, because I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I, bro, it's a reason. You don't want to have no swamp dick. You got to make you gotta make sure your shit right. You don't want your dick to stink. So, you got to trim your pubes, all that shit, so... I, I'm making sure my dick ain't smelling. I ain't got no swamp dick ain't smelling sweaty. None of that. I'm making sure my shit is set. So I get out the shower and I put on like some sweatpants shirts or some shit. Put on some sweatpants shirts, some Nike socks, some slides, and a Nike shirt. And nigga, it's time to go. Oh, and then I, nah, I actually had to give me a condom because you know, you never want to be caught lacking. You got to keep that strap on you at all times. So I got the strap in my pocket. I got my wallet. I got my keys. I put some cologne on and shit, and I brushed my hair. Well, I brushed the sides, because, you know, I had, like, a little temp fade. Like, I was trying to grow my hair out, get a nappy fade or some shit. So I go to her house, and I text I'm like, I'm on the way. I just got, like, out the shower and shit. I'm on the way. She said, all right, bet. She said, ring the doorbell when you get here. So I cut through some yards, because she lived, like, three streets over from me. So I cut through some houses and shit, and I get to the crib, and I ring the doorbell. Ding, ding. Boom. She answered the door. She's like, hey, how you doing? And, you know what I'm saying? I gave her a hug, all that shit. And uh, she was like, come on inside. She was like, make sure you take your shoes off, though. She was like, we don't play that. And I said, all right, respectable, because my mom don't play that shit either. So I take my slides off, and she was like, you you thirsty? You hungry? You need anything? I was like, I'm kind of thirsty, you know what I'm saying? I just got back from a camp, nigga, even though I ain't played, but, you know, I, I had this planned out. I knew what I was doing. So she was, like, she was like, all right, what you want to drink? I was like, man, what you got? She was like, I got iced tea, lemonade, uh... Gatorade, Sprite, water, like anything you want, I got it. So I said, all right, bet. So we go upstairs, I was like, let me get her on the Palmer. So she made me the on the Palmer. Nigga, this shit was amazing. I don't know if it was because I already knew some shit was about to go down or that shit was just hitting. She had a perfect two to one lemonade to iced tea ratio and she put in a frozen a frozen glass. So at this time, I'm, I'm drinking this shit and I'm like, damn, my nigga, I almost forgot what was my mission. So I was like, I had to get back into character. So I'm drinking this shit. And, uh, you know, I'm leaning on the counter, so I'm just cutting my eye at her once in a while. And, you know, I'll put the drink down, you know, I'll say some shit to her, and then, like, you know, I'll, you know, smirk at her, bite my lip, you know, some shit like that, you know. I, you got to stimulate the mom before you get the pussy wet. You got to you, you gotta get her right. You, like, everything with a girl starts from her head, so you got to get her right mentally so she can get right, you know, physically. You know what I'm saying? So I'm smirking at her and shit, and I keep looking at her while I'm drinking my shit. So while I'm sipping on this drink, nigga... I look at her one more time, and then, like, I, when I look at her, I can tell she's, like, kind of shaking, like, like she's balled up. So, when the bitch started doing that shit, it's like, that's how I knew I had her. So, I was like, all right, bet, now it's time. So, I look at her again, and, you know, you know when you're looking at a girl, she, like, you know, she act like ratchet or some shit. Like, she'll be like, she was like, can I help you or some shit? Like, you know, they'll do that little stank face. She was like, boo, do you like what you see? And I was like, yeah, I love what I see. And then... She said some other shit, and I was, I was like, yeah, all right, stop playing with me. She said some other shit, and look, nigga, that's not important. All I know is we got into play fighting, and when you get into play fighting, that's when you know some shit finna go down, because I ain't gonna hold you. When I'm play fighting with a bitch, my dick get hard. 
So when my dick got hard, nigga, she started grabbing my dick and shit, and I, I put my hands in her pants. So I put my hands in her pants, nigga, and I, you know, I start to finger her and shit. Nigga, that pussy was so motherfucking gushing, aquafina, splash, wet, my nigga. That shit, she was hot and ready like a little Caesar's pizza, bro. So next thing I know, we know, we kissing and shit. Mind you, we still in her kitchen, so I'm fingering her and I'm kissing her and shit. And then she was like, all right, she ain't say shit, but she know, she grabbed my hand, she took me to her room. So we in the room and we know, I did all that shit over again, you know, fingering her, kissing her. She grabbed my dick and shit. She pushed me on the bed and she put my pants down. And nigga, this one, I was like, thank you, Jesus, nigga. Nigga, I, you know, she she started going to work. She had the air conditioning on, so she sucking, she sucking the fuck out of my dick. But like the air conditioning, the vent right on top of us. So it's like I got a little breeze on my dick, bro. So my, my, my nigga, nigga, that shit feel good. So she sucking my dick. She sucking the life out of me. She doing this little double motion hand wham, like all that shit, bro. Hand dropping my shit, and she slurping the fuck out my dick. Like she she's a human vacuum cleaner. So all I remember is. Nigga, my toes started to curl. When my toes started to curl, I just, nigga, I don't remember after, I don't remember what happened when my toes curled. I think I nutted in her fucking mouth or some shit. So, but li- nigga, it doesn't matter because, nigga, my shit, I guess it ain't taste bad, nigga. That's why I tell niggas to drink pineapple juice and shit, eat pineapples. Because, nigga, she ain't stopped. She kept going. So I'm like, God damn, like, bro, what the fuck? And I'm sitting here, bro, I'm sitting here squirming and shit like a little bitch. And I'm saying, honey, I'm like, I'm like, Lexus. Like, like, bro, this bitch got me moaning her name and shit, bro. Like, I, 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 I was weak, bro. So, nigga, I'm sitting here thinking the, the whole time I'm like, right, I'm about to fuck this bitch, nigga. By the time she got done after I nutting this bitch, mother, she kept sucking my shit. My tank was on E, so I had a condom, but it was no point in me bringing it because, nigga, she had my, she, she emptied the tank, and I'm like, damn. So, nigga, I, I, I try to be a bigger man, and I, you know, I even pulled the condom out and I try to, you know. Put the shit on, but nigga, my dick was not getting up there. I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. Like, it's not cause I was nervous. Like, if I was, if I, if she ain't sucked the life out of me, bro, I would have fucked her. Like, I would have lost my virginity that day. But nigga, like, I ain't had no gas, bro. Nigga, I, nigga, I, I ran out of gas, though. I ain't gonna hold you. So, that's that, bro. You know, I told, her, I was like, look, I was, I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? I was, like, I, gotta, I gotta go. So she was like, all right. So she laughing because she already knows she, you know, she put that word. So she laughing and shit. And I'm like, damn. So I walk home and shit. Nigga, that was the longest walk ever. It was a long. I, 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 I was feeling good. But nigga, like, it felt like it took me like 10 minutes to get to my house. And it was literally, I had to cut through like two, two or three yards. Bro, it was so hard to walk because my shit was still raw and tender at the same time, my nigga. It was so fucking raw and tender. Like, and it was rubbing against my leg and shit. Like, bro, like. Bro, I could, like, it, I, I don't, bro, y'all know the feeling, bro. When y'all get a bitch to suck the fuck out your dick, bro, you gonna know what I'm talking about, all right? You gonna know what the fuck I'm talking about. But, uh, that's the story right there, bro. And after that, nigga, I was, mo- I was moving, and she was going to her dad's house, so I, I, it was really no other way that I can, you know, get her to suck my dick again. But when I got my license, I did hit her up. And, you know, we linked up, you know, she did her thing. I ain't fucked, but, you know, she sucked my dick, you know, she... She ain't, she ain't lose no skill. She, you know, she's very good at what she do. She honestly, top three, one of the best bitches that ever sucked my dick. Top three. And uh, to this day, I still think about what she did. And like my knees, my knees get weak a little. Like, you know, I, I you know, my knees break. My knees get weak and you know, you know, that, that she, she got a you know, imprint on my life. And she, she was putting in work. I ain't gonna hold you. Shout out to you, Alexis. I love you, baby. But uh, yeah, that's the story, bro. I hope y'all niggas get to experience this shit one day, bro, on God. And uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that shit if you enjoyed it. And uh, gang, I'm out.